I think you have to build a team that you're confident in the entire team. Um, and then I think if you build a, a competent, adequate, you know, uh, very good team, then certain people on that team are going to excel. I also think it's helpful in being able to describe to other people uh, your worth to the organization and how your skills would be transferable to other areas when it comes time to move to the next step. Goal setting allows you to have a target, a target of potential outcomes that you can strive to work towards. And when you set goals, you've got to set objectives. And when you have objectives, you need resources, people, individual power, and the ability to work in a team environment. I would say that the people who stand out to me as exceptional, they're resilient. They stay positive um, and calm in, in a crisis. They make other people feel uh, valued. They make other people feel that um, their contribution is worth something. I would say if you can take on things that aren't necessarily your responsibility and that's a tough one so you don't want to encroach on other people you don't want to go behind other people's backs to do their jobs but if you can take on projects um, that aren't necessarily in your day-to-day -day activities and you can work on them on the side and you can bring solutions or or other um, ways of, of helping the organization on the kind of on your own time I think that's a big way to separate yourself positively the three things that I would choose for an employee would be work ethic, and that's hard to find these days. Somebody that really goes the extra mile, that spends the time, continues to grow and learn, and somebody who really has an ambition to, to succeed. The second would be communication skills, both orally and written. Today's art of social media and technology, you're finding that text messaging is taking over, and people don't really know how to write anymore. And then public speaking goes also with communication skills. The skill and ability to stand up in front of an audience, convey a point of view, and make an important point is hard to find an employee these days. And third would be integrity. And I think that's the reason why I love working at Notre Dame. The ethics and values of an organization, somebody who's honest and sincere and open. Um, I would say the number one asset is positive energy. Uh, in, included in that would be enthusiasm, definitely. Um, and then I think the others would be uh, persistence. So when things aren't going our way, how do we respond to it? So um, in the course of the workday, not everything always goes as planned. And I would be, and I'm usually looking for somebody who can creatively figure out a way to, to make it so. I think the thing that is most distinguishing about individuals who are truly excellent at what they do is that they're great team players. They not only do a good job on what they're expected to do, but they know when to jump in and help someone else. Um, other people I've worked for um, who are, who've been very successful have some sort of a financial understanding. So some sort of understanding of the bottom line. And they have a good sense of how everything fits together in terms of the business and that helps them to be effective in terms of how they prioritize tasks for their team. Um, so those are some qualities I'd say. In my organization of 21 employees, there really isn't any room for an I, including the director, and I follow those principles myself. It's important to be part of a team, and when you contribute to a team, you'll succeed individually. You'll share in the success of the team, and you'll stand out for your accomplishments. And I'm one of those directors that allow people to do that within a framework of goals and activities that we have for our office. Uh -huh.